Welcome back to our channel. We are Stefano and Sasha and today we are taking you to the beautiful tropical island of Lombok in Indonesia. We spent a couple weeks here and we are sharing the five best restaurants and cafes that you must visit when you come to Lombok. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and subscribe to our channel to see future videos. We are sharing our favorite restaurants from number five to number one and stay tuned to the end because we are going to show you how to get delicious cheap local food as well. Enjoy the foodie tour. Starting with number five, the delicious Italian restaurant of Sapori in downtown Kuta. This restaurant supposedly has the best pizza in town and we really loved it because I'm gluten free and it has pizza, pasta, and bread gluten-free options. We got the pasta, we got the salad, and then we came back for pizza and gelato. They also have a great selection of salads and dessert. These guys get a tick of approval from Stefano, who is Italian, so this is not an easy task. Number four was my personal favorite, Terra Cafe. They have a really big selection of vegan, vegetarian, and gluten-free options, including a lot of gluten-free bakery items, banana bread, and little cake. They do really nice coffee with homemade almond milk, and they also have matcha frappuccinos too. We went here quite a few times. We really suggest the gluten-free and refined sugar-free banana bread, which you can get for about two US dollars for the entire loaf. We also really love the coconut ice cream and the gluten-free pancakes that change flavors every day. The savory options are also delicious, like this tempeh burger that Stefano got. They have both an air-conditioned indoor area and an outdoor space with good Wi-Fi, so you could hide from the heat and get some work done. Number three on our list is Gecko Cafe and Restaurant. This one also has gluten-free and vegan options, including a gluten-free burger bun and gluten-free waffles. And again, it has both a really nice outdoor space as well as an indoor air-conditioned space with Wi-Fi. However, the indoor space is very co-working focused. This place was usually quieter than a lot of other restaurants and cafes, which we enjoy. We went a couple of times, so we liked the Tempe rice paper roll, Stefano got a sandwich, the peanut butter banana smoothie is delicious, the coffee is really good, and on our last meal we went really naughty with some pulled pork french fries. Number two on our list is Loka. It is really popular with the health and fitness crowd in Lombok because it's actually attached to a gym and it has a lot of healthy options and it caters for different diets as well as allergies. It only has an outdoor space, no AC unfortunately, but it is nice and cool with some ceiling fans. It's quite a loud space, but there are some corners in the back where you could sit where they're a little bit quieter and you could get some work done and they have good Wi-Fi. The coffee was really good. They have a few different alternative milk options and the meals were quite healthy and you have a lot of options to choose from. We went a couple of times. I got avocado on tempeh instead of toast, which was delicious. Stefano got a breakfast wrap. And then we went again and we got a couple of superfood bowls. Every day they have a different special on a superfood bowl and you can add a variety of protein like tempeh and salmon and chicken. And the meals are pretty big and pretty filling. It felt really nice after so much eating out to have nice fresh meals and we felt pretty proud of ourselves for eating so healthy. We definitely recommend this spot if you like healthy, wholesome food. And number one on our list, and probably everyone else's in town's list, is Kenza. This is a Western style cafe and restaurant was always pretty busy with people working during the day. Again, you can sit outside or you can sit in the air conditioned space inside, though it was quite warm inside most of the time because there was quite a lot of people there. They have a lot of coffee options like cold brew and pour over. The coffee is really good and really strong. We particularly like the cold brew here. It's pretty punchy. And they have really delicious breakfast and lunch options like smoothie bowls as well as some kind of local meals. I had a Nazi goreng here. Stefano had a 
chicken and avocado sandwich, which was really good. Now they don't have a lot of gluten-free options, only a couple, so keep that in mind if you are gluten-free. We really liked the vibe, the design, and the environment here. And again, you must try the coffee here. There are many options as a Western food in the Highland. You can choose Italian, Mexican, burger, fish and chips, dessert, ice cream, anything. You name it and you found it. If you want to have a, like a good local food, you just have to look for the Warungs. They have pretty much all the same food, but anywhere you go, you're just going to find delicious, healthy, cheap food that you can have and not get disappointed. Local warangs are also an amazing option for meals. They also always have vegetarian and gluten-free options and are about a third of the price of eating at a restaurant. We would usually spend about 12 to 16 US dollars at the restaurants we mentioned before for two meals. However, at a local warang, we would spend only about $5 for two meals. That's all for today. We hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know in the comments what you think and stay tuned for next week's video where we take you to the five best beaches in all of Lombok.